Welcome to the Hoop Consultants. My name is Mike Procopio. I'm a director of the company. Uh, basically, I'm going to moderate this video and show um, show you some of the best features of our product, the Recruit Tracker. The Recruit Tracker is basically a database that keeps track of all your pertinent information on the players that you're recruiting. It allows you to put all scouting reports, all pertinent information, uh, schedules of his AU high school or junior college team, um, email addresses and phone numbers for coaches and family members, scouting reports and games and events. It allows you to go to you know, an event with two, three hundred players and you could do reports basically on all of them and, and have a, a ranking and rating for every player that participated in events and, and be able to print out professional looking reports. Uh, the main focus of this program is to make your job easier. It's not to dazzle you with what bells and whistles. It's Basically, how is this going to make your job easier on a daily basis? We've put a lot of thought and effort into it, and, and that's basically what we wanted to accomplish out of this. Um, we're just going to go over some of the main features of the, of, of the, of the program in basically a five- or six-minute video. Uh, the first thing we're going to go over is obviously um, high school information. So you're in your, uh, your home page. You're going to click on Mission Control. We're just going to look at some players is all. So we're going to go to Player Profiles. For high school, okay. So as you can see, you could use, you could have every piece of information on a player: their school, their height, their weight, uh, if they're a high school or junior college player, uh, what position they play, their high school jersey number, their AU jersey number, um, if they committed anywhere, who's recruiting them. And again, this is very easy to put information in. Um, one of the better features that I like is basically on the website. Uh, I'm sorry, on the on the databases it allows you just to enter in information once and then store it away basically like schedule and coaching information on a, on a team so obviously this is set up where you just have all the information here but it's not set up where you just enter the information for every player and then so say Cambridge Ringe and Latin has 10 players that you're recruiting well you don't have to enter in the coach's name 10 times and the schedule 10 times once you put the schedule in it's in so here in Justin Wilson's case, if he, say, went to Carver High School in California, once you click in Carver, just pay attention to all this information in the middle, everything changes. So the school changes, the team changes, the schedule changes. And again, if you need to add another uh, game to the schedule, it's pretty easy. See, uh, we've, we've covered this in, in videos, but you know, I'll just show you real quick. To add a game to the schedule, you see Carver's got three games here. Add game to the schedule, uh, you know, and a uh, screen will pop up. Again, we want to skip steps. We don't want you to have to go all the way back to a, a button that says add schedule when you could just have it right here on the screen. We come down to uh, school ID. You select Carver. Carver's going to come up. Game date, we'll just say uh, February 2nd. Um, okay. Opponent, East High. Uh, East High. Location, we'll just put it uh, Los Angeles, 7 p.m. Oh. And just click to, like a blank part of the screen and then just put, uh, click close window. And there you have it, East High School, 8.30 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry, East High, Los Angeles, February 2nd, 7 p.m. So there, again, easy to enter information and again, if you change schools, schedule changes, and then you change it back, it's still going to be there. Everything saves in the database and you don't need to enter it again unless there's changes to the schedule. Um, year, year in and year out you obviously have to change the schedule, but as you can see it just adds all the information that you possibly have in here and just allows you to store everything. Same thing with AU, if you were to, um, if you were to add AU teams it would be the same thing. Add an AU team, add schedule. We don't have any in there right now, but same thing with player contact. So say Justin Wilson's mother, you know, Martha Wilson, you just want to make sure you have everyone's information, every every family member, just in case, you know, obviously you're going to talk to them on a regular basis. You click, click add now, that screen pops up, you know, we could add Martha Will, uh, Wilson. So again, what player this is, Justin Wilson, Again, to make sure it's that's the one that's playing a Carver, uh, we'll put her name in, Martha Wilson. Uh, click down here, Mother. 
phone number, I don't know, 310-234-5678, email mwilson at gmail.com, birthday if you want, let's we'll say 11, 11, uh, 57. Okay, so all her information's in. You click close window, and there's Martha Wilson. Now, um, if you purchase the FileMaker Go for your iPhone, you can basically make phone calls by just clicking her number here, and you can click uh, to email Martha just by clicking the email button. And again, you click email. Um, you can see behind right here that Martha Wilson's email just pops up. So we'll cancel that out, close that out. Uh, don't save. Okay, so again, it's very easy to navigate around. You can you can do basically whatever you need to do. You can put it in, the, in their tests. You know, SAT, ACT. How many times you talk to the player? Academic information. It will keep their your joke your core GPA. If you're at the Division One level, where you deal with core classes. Um, once you put in one class. Come down here, see all your core classes here. Once you put one in, now the whole list of core classes are, are automatically generates on the right. So you put your grade in, say A minus, and now again after every time you put in a grade, all you have to do is put refresh GPA, and it's going to refresh your GPA. So again, it's keeping your keeping the transcript, keeping your classes, keeping how many times you took the SAT and ACT. It took you how many times you spoke to him, and now you have the event report and game report. So, if you say you scouted a player and you want to do reports, we'll, we'll go into that pretty quickly. So we go home, and we enter a new high school event. So basically, we we'll go to, we go down. We'll enter a new event. So say he played in the uh, California uh, shootout. Los Angeles, California, event date. Again, a drop down calendar will be coming right here. Say it's the, I don't know, February 1st. Uh, again, you have your, your coaches that recruit events. Say Ray Miller scouts this tournament. Uh, so now you have your report. So this is the events basically like if, if you go to a tournament with 20 teams or 100 teams or 300 players and you just want to do a, a bunch of reports on one event you'll have your top players uh, performances so basically this this right here is for your top performers as you add players and you rate them they'll rate them by your numeric order that you uh, numeric ranking that you give them and then basically it will cut it down by position and by uh, underclassmen as well so you come come through here you have a um, new scouting report again that that will pop up for you you add a player in there uh, Justin Wilson, if you have his picture, which you could add pretty easily in here, player pictures to your right, uh, you click the event ID, California shootout, event rating, let's just say we gave him a 7.0, played okay, played very well, we'll just put, and you could put his stats, we won't put all the stats here, but we'll just say it's 32 minutes, uh, 6 of 6 from the field, 3 for 3 from the 3, six for six from the line and then um, as you can see 21 points so we get out of this we click on close window and I scroll down a little bit you'll see Justin Wilson's name for top performers and again if players that get more than 7.0 in your rating system whatever rating system you have Justin will move down the list and you scroll down if you scroll down here for power forwards again Justin Wilson is the top so again, this will generate reports for you, making it pretty simple to go to events, do all these reports, and come back and with something in hand. So here are your top players. Um, and the best part about it is now Justin Wilson's here. You could click on his name, and his profile will pop up. And you go to event report, and now all your events you ever cover covering this one player will will, pop, will populate right here. And you have California shootouts. Ray Miller was a scout and played very well here's the stats and again it'll just give you all the information same thing with game reports if you go home here 
and now the difference between a game report and a uh, event report game report is basically one game that you go you might scout one or two players event report is 20 30 teams 50 teams 200 300 players and you're doing multiple reports for a week a weekend you know and a weekend long click on uh, event scouting report same basically idea, idea obviously you don't have the rating system you know, the numeric rating in the report you just have the one report in the game so Justin Wilson, coach ID who did the scouting, we'll say it's John Blake this time. John's name will populate here. Um, we'll say the date was February 23rd. Uh, event rating, how we played. And again, it's not numeric now because he's not competing against anybody. We'll just say he was very good. Played well, showed energy. Again, his picture will be here if you had it. We'll go 32 minutes, uh, 12. 19, 1 for 5, 2 for 7. Again, the percentages will come up for you. You don't have to do them. Uh, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put all the stats in here. Uh, so we'll go 7, 7, so 14 rebounds. We'll go 2 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks, 2 turnovers. So you got 27 points. You click on... Click on... Actually, click on Justin's name right here. His uh, his bio or his, uh, his profile will pop up. You go to game reports, and again, the dates right here. You got John Blake right here for the scouting report, and played well, showed energy, had all his stats right here. Again, one place stats are in one spot. You don't have to chase them. You just put it down. You write it out, and there you go. And this will save information again you don't have to like you don't have to type out the scouting report again just to put it in one place it's automatically going to populate itself in a player's profile all you need is their player information and it's pretty simple to add players you just put new entry and you just you add all their information schools you gotta add individually and you can't just put school name up here you're gonna have to go down to school add school or add schedule and then you have to or you you wanna go home and add a new high school juco uh, the last thing I'll show you pretty quickly here is the directories. So we go to our mission control and we have directories. So as you put information on high schools and like a kid played for high school or a schedule, it's going to populate in the directory automatically. So you have Cambridge Ringe and Latin and you have and you have all your games at Cambridge Ringe. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. We we transferred Justin. So say we'll go to Carver. So again, you have the coach's name, you have the email. You could email uh, call them again if you had to have the application for your iPhone. Uh, for you have your schedule here. You've got all your players in the roster, what number they are, what class, what position they play. And you can easily again click on e any player and and get their information right here. You don't have to you know go back and forth. It's it, everything's pretty simple for you. Uh, again, we built this in mind with the coach in mind and saying how are we going to make your job easier today? And I think that uh, we've done a pretty good job of doing that. Uh, the last thing we'll show you before we uh, end the video is our mission control. And this area right here is our schedule. With this area right here, any player that you're recruiting, if you put their schedule in and you and you say you're recruiting them, any any game on any given day, you can click any day you want, and if they're playing that day, it's going to show up on your daily schedule. So, you know, if you have your basketball ops guy that's in charge of this, you know, putting all the schedules in, you're saying, hey, John, what you know, who's playing today? What teams are playing that we need to see? And again, you might have 300 teams that you put schedules in for, but you might only be recruiting players from maybe 20 schools. So any given day, so say the 31st, we'll add a we'll add a game here. So player profile, Justin Wilson. Let's go to the school. So let's just put a game in for the 31st. So we'll add a new game to the schedule. Um, Carver game date 31 opponent uh, Central. Location, Los Angeles, time 6.30 p.m., close window. Okay, so that game is at 6.30. We go to our mission control, and we go to the 31st, which should be there. Hold on, do we put 
February, I'm gonna put February 31st. Let me just check real quick. We go to school. Now I put January 31st. It should be there. Let's just let's try that. Mission Control. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to put in. I apologize. That's my not my fault. And, and again, it shows you the who's paying attention, who's not. The program's only gonna show the schedule if you're recruiting that player. So we didn't put currently recruiting. So now we put currently recruiting. Yes. We go to Mission Control, and now you have Carver's game. And actually, you know, my mess up was this showed how good the software really is, where it could just show you, you know, show you the, how powerful it is and how it just pays attention. And again, you know, we, we say that you're recruiting a player, the schedule will populate. Now, if you go back and you say you're not recruiting them, then you go to Mission Control, and then the schedule's gone. Wow, I thought I messed up. And it will rank players for you in classes, you know, by different things. You know, you could go by position. It will show you the position players and rate them. Um, players that you're recruiting or not, you know, see, you could see that you're recruiting Harvey Williams and Eddie Johnson. Um, recruiting by position, if they committed to a school or not. And then it's just a very, very powerful program that will put you ahead of the curve as far as organizing your recruiting. I know at certain levels, you know, you write stuff down, you put it in Excel, you put it in Word, you write things down, and it's hard to you know, get information in one place and say, hey, who's the best player in each class, or do we have a phone number on a player? Instead of going searching, it's all in here. It's a very powerful program. I think it could definitely help any program. Uh, please feel free to call me at any time uh, or email me. You can go to my website, www.thehoopconsultants.com. You can email me at any time, mike at hoopconsultants.com. I look forward to hearing from you, and uh, have a great day. If anything we can do, please let us know. Thank you.